When doing product research, you wanted to take into account every possible risk to make sure your investment will pay off. And the biggest risk is about competition, market sales, the profitability, the metrics, yeah? And if you would get a lot of metrics like refund rates, the sales, the seasonality, would you have a higher success rate for launching new products? I can tell you right away, yes. And what if I will tell you that Amazon provides you with a very, very cool report that already have a lot of market data, which is 100% accurate, there is no estimation, and you can use it today, right now. In this video, I will show you how to use a new report provided by Amazon called Amazon Category Insights for product research. Let's start. Okay, so how can you enter this reporting? So go on burger menu, then go to growth, and then you click marketplace product guidance. Once you click on Marketplace Product Guidance, select Category Insight. Once you land on this page, Amazon provides you with a little bit more information. You can also watch a video provided by Amazon. They will tell you like how this tool works. But I will also show you the simplified version and also use cases how to use this report. So you have filters. Currently, we have United States, Germany, Japan, United Kingdom here. So for example, let's say we are, uh, we are going to research products in United States. Then the product that we were researching, let's say it's in office products. The product type is let it be planner. And then we have item type keyword and you have appointment books, classic records, everything. You can try to search it here. So you can enter any search, for example, I don't know, like laptop. And then you have laptop computer backpacks, laptop hard case shells and so on and so on. Yeah, so let's use this appointment book planners. Once you scroll down, you will see the sales. Imagine Amazon provides you with sales. You can see units sold and net sales by months because currently we have selected 12 months date range. You can also select seven days and it will show you, you know, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You can select 30 days. You can see the performance by 30 days. Um, but I suggest you to use 12 months so you can see the seasonality. And let's say you're going to launch a product and you know that from moment when you place an order at the manufacturer or you're going to manufacture it yourself, it will take a specific time. Based on this information, you can already predict at what time period I'm going to, be, to launch the product. Is it going to be high season or is it going to be low season? And depending what is your goal, you know, it will help you to define if the seasonality is good or not. The next thing what you also can see here is a button click compare year over year. Yeah. So when I click in compare year over year, I can see the performance of that category this year versus last year, which already gives me a perfect understanding if this category is growing or not. How can I do the calculation? I can, you know, you, you move your mouse, you have, you can see 2024 data, 2023 data, units sold. Yeah. You can export this data into Excel. By export, I mean annual, uh, manually copy and paste, and then calculate the percentage difference. Yeah. The percentage change will tell you how this category is growing. But technically, you can see it's, uh, it's not a significant grow, uh, growth, but it's also not a decline. And we can see that this category is growing. And as you can see, the seasonality is exactly the same previous year and this year. You also can see net sales. Yeah. So you can do the calculation of the average price. You do net sales divided by uh, sale here, and you can calculate the average price, uh, sale price for the specific time period. And when you scroll down, you will see some keyword performance. This part, I don't honestly use a lot. I suggest you to use top search terms report. I even can suggest, you know, to use some other tools for the do search volume estimations. Uh, but yeah, overall, you still have uh, here most popular keywords. So keywords of this ASINs, which are highly searched in the United States and their search volume. So they show you the search volume, but this is an aggregated 12 month search volume. You can click on 30 days. And however, I still think this one is not the best number you can use 100%. So yeah, let's move forward. Uh, you have additional metrics like glance viewed, uh, views. Uh, however, you know, it's, it's pretty the same. Yeah, like this. And let's scroll down, which is a very, very important. So search to purchase ratio. Search to purchase ratio is number of times the ASIN were purchased from the total searches. So 
The conversion rate is purchases divided by clicks. Yeah, search to purchase radio is a purchases divided by search volume. So customer searches the product firstly. Yeah, and then if we calculate purchases to searches, it's four percent. That means every first four searches in on Amazon uh, for this planner is making a sale which provides you also we, it, it's a good metric because you can do you can you can compare uh, other categories and understand like what will be the conversion rate that it's calculated based on search volume yeah then you have return ratio and the return ratio is basically your refund rate yeah so now where you are looking at the category and you want to understand okay is this category having a high refund rate or the refund rate is actually low because the refund rate can significantly impact your profitability and your bottom line. So this will also help help you. And return ratio is also going to differ based on selected time range. And I suggest you still use 12 months because if say you will use 30 days, it might be lower, might be higher, depending on what uh, time of the year you're looking at this data. For example, you know, when because there is a high demand in December, January, that means uh, the, there will be high refund rate in February just because sales are going down and then you get the refunds from previous months. That's important to remember. So 12 months is a way to go here. You can even see reasons for returns. Yeah, like 30% of the refunds are selling that no longer needed, no longer wanted. I believe, you know, because this product is part of, you know, this is a planner. So there are a lot of a lot of uh, design parts. Yeah and uh, if your content is not detailed enough you will get refunds because customer cannot clearly see what they receive yeah and once they get the product they they they, they open it they check it they don't like it they return it so this one can be solved uh, through the content then you have also a couple of metrics like number of ASINs and my suggestion do not use this metric uh, what I would do I would technically recommend you to do let's say go for the keyword let's say planner 2024 enter it on Amazon and you will have 20,000 plus results you can enter a little bit more detailed let's say monthly planner let's try it and you have 10,000 plus results now you can also try it for some long tail keywords monthly planner 24 20 25 small and you will see 4000 plus results so it shows you the 100000 ascents uh, it's like ascents across the entire category uh, my suggestion would be you know uh, select only relevant keywords the keyword analysis is a separate topic but let's say you found already the keywords uh, so you know click here and check how many results you have and this will give you a better understanding like how many ascents are you competing with okay uh, I believe basically that's it. Uh, there is uh, all the other things I would ignore from here. Uh, not sure if there is any specific, uh, specifically something more that can help you. However, as you can see, uh, let's let's gather everything that we just went through. The most important part of the category insights is that you can see market sales. So you don't have access to the tool, to the data through SQP. Yeah, you are not even selling this product. You can still have access to the sales. Yeah, and you can understand the market size. You can understand the market seasonality. You can understand the market growth. You can understand market refund rate. You can understand market conversion rate, which is based on the search volume. And so there is a, like a ton of valuable information on one page that I highly really recommend you to use when you are going to research new products because this will help you understand the market performance. Okay, and that's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it was very helpful to you. Please put a like button, click a subscribe, leave your comments, think, let me know what you think about this reporting. Maybe you have some other ideas on how to use it. And as always, I will tell you that we are having a, our software, which helps Amazon sellers to sell and make more profit on Amazon through data analysis. We provide a lot of different reports like profit analytics, SQP analytics, PPC analytics, traffic analytics, and bunch of other stuff. And the tool can be customized. So if you are interested to check out our tool, I will put the link into the description, click on it, check it out. There is a free trial available. You can book a call, book a demo and we'll show you everything so yeah one more time thank you so much for watching this video have a great day bye bye